So today I thought it would be quite nice if I did a spring daytime makeup tutorial for you. So based around kind of like sheer foundations and just pops of pink, um, just to kind of introduce our makeup range into the springtime ness um, so it's this look here it's quite simple quite similar to the usual look that I wear with my cat eye flick um, but all of the products are different ones so I'm not sure that I've used any of them before in tutorials before so I really do hope you like it and um, keep watching if you would like to see how to achieve this look <laughs> Okay, so first off I'm going to start off with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in shade Ivory. Obviously it says Wake Me Up on the front of it. It's meant to have an anti-fatigue effect, so it doesn't have a huge amount of coverage. It's quite sheer, um, but it definitely does help to kind of brighten up underneath the eye area. Um, and I'm also going to pop it at, at just um, around my chin, because I've got a little bit of pigmentation there, and just on the ends and around my nose. Just because even though it's not a huge amount of coverage, it does still help to brighten the area. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm going to be using the YSL um, Touche Clair Foundation in shade BD20. Um, this I am so, so in love with. Um, it's good to give it a quite a good shape before you use it. Um, I used to have really oily, oily skin. Um, and obviously, you know, I've had really bad problems with breakouts. Um, but since my skin has been behaving itself... A lot better I can go for a more sheer foundation so this is definitely not a full coverage foundation and um, I'm going to use the um, Real Techniques buffing brush just to buff this in it's a sheer foundation with a really healthy glow to it but it does have buildable coverage so you could still wear this like on an evening or just for kind of like daytime wear um, I'm wearing it for daytime wear at the minute I think it's really lovely it's got a really natural finish and it just feels like your skin but a little bit better in a liquid form which I do find is quite difficult to discover in a foundation and I've been really enjoying using it it just gives a really beautiful healthy glow and has just enough coverage to cover any kind of imperfections that you want I haven't been using any powder with this foundation so it does have a really good staying power and it blends into the skin beautifully. I find using a brush is easier um, but I'm pretty sure you could use your fingers and blend quite well too. Because it's a springtime look I really do want to achieve that healthy glow and but I do want to keep my skin looking as natural as possible while doing so. So I'm going to go in with my um, YSL Touche Clair Radiant Touch Highlighter um, and just take that on to my cheekbones and just onto the brow bone as well. Um, I find just a few clicks on each side of the face works really well and then just taking it into the cupid's bow as well just to give a little bit of highlight in the centre of the face. And I use my Real Techniques setting brush for this just because it's really light, it doesn't buff it into the skin too heavily and because this is so sheer it doesn't need a lot of buffing and I just think that this adds, it really complements the, the foundation beautifully and obviously they're built from the same thing so they're going to work well together um, but I just find that this is so much nicer than using a powder highlighter and um, it really does help to give it a more of a natural glow and then for my bronzer I'm using the Avon Glow um, bronzing powder in shade Warm Glow and this is just really lovely it does have um, shimmer to it so you don't need a lot and I just bash it off on the side and blend it off in my hand a little bit and just taking it on the cheeks and around just to give myself quite a natural bronzed look. And Avon powders I have found to be really highly pigmented so you really don't need a lot of product and a little goes a long way. For blush I'm really loving using cream blusher at the minute. It's not something I'd really used before and I was quite scared to use it really. I just found the application was quite difficult but I've picked up the number 7 pop and glow cream blush which I think I mentioned in a haul um, a little while ago and instead of applying it directly onto the skin I use the Real Techniques um, stippling brush just to go over the top of the blusher and um, covering the brush um, and then just patting it onto my cheeks and I find that this gives a way more natural finish and the colour of this is just so beautiful it literally just gives 
your skin like a little flush um, a little pop of pink and it's a really like lovely beautiful shade really rosy um, and I think that complements pale skin quite well um, so yeah I find that this brush is just fabulous for applying cream blush and it just is a, a much less harsh way of applying it than dabbing it directly onto the skin. Brows, I'm going to be using the Cosmetics a la carte brow ink um, semi-permanent brow eyeliner um, and this is in shade Taupe and this is super 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 liquid kind of brow liner so you really just need it's got almost like a felt tip nib so you really don't need to go in with too much pressure it's literally just kind of filling in any sparse hairs um, and you could go for a really defined brow with this but I'm just going to go in and try and fill in the sparse hairs and not make it too heavy. Okay, and for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the 24 hour colour tattoo eye studio in pink gold um, from Maybelline. And this is a really shimmery pink um, so I'm just going to use my finger to dab it onto the lid um, and I think this is lovely for spring I think pinks and golds are lovely around spring and summer um, and I'm quite I usually stick to like my browns and golds and um, so I think in springtime it's nice to add like a little bit of pink and I don't want it to be anything too bold because it's just a daytime spring look I do like to have my eyes a little bit more bold than the rest of my face so I think it's nice to always accentuate one part and this is just a really lovely eyeshadow. It's really highly pigmented, you don't need a lot of shadow to get a full coverage but you can build it up and make it really bold which I think is lovely. Um, so I'm just using that along the lids and I'm going to go in on the bottom, um, this is actually for your brows but I'm going to use just a dab a little bit of that on onto my brush and just take it underneath the eyes a little bit just to shape the eyes and give it that pop. Just adding a little bit more into the corners to give it a little bit more definition. You know, I can't really go anywhere without my cat eye flick, so I'm gonna go in with my Collection 2000 Bar Stroke Eyeliner in black. And I'm not gonna go too full on with the cat eye, just a, a subtle line, um, just to shape my eyes, really. And I can't talk while I'm doing this, so you can just watch. <laughs> eyes done then I'm going to go in with um, the Mega Volume Miss Manga Mascara from L'Oreal. Um, I've only just started using this but I'm absolutely loving it. Um, it's got a really bendy wand and a lovely kind of like pointed shape so it really helps to get into the corners of your eyes and really fan out, um, fan out the eyelashes. And I've also found that this mascara doesn't flake or cake um, so it's got really good longevity and it doesn't kind of crumble or get black underneath your eyes so it's perfect for the bottom lashes as well. Okay and then last up I want to go for quite a sheer lip so I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Doll Face Gel Lip Colour um, and I think this was a special edition so I don't know that it's available anymore but it's just a really sheer almost balmy lip glossy type lipstick so it doesn't have a great amount of longevity it doesn't stay on the lips for hours but it's just a really lovely sheer pink and it's such a lovely colour. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I actually really enjoyed filming it. It's, I'm really embracing that I can wear sheerer foundations now and that there are so many more products that I can use on my skin. Now it's behaving itself a bit better. Because of this, I literally cannot recommend Priori skincare enough because that's what's kept my oil at bay and meant that I can wear like sheer and glowy foundations that literally like make your skin glow before they would fall off my face and now this little baby is like my best friend and I can wear it whenever I want to and that is amazing so 
I'm really enjoying trying out different foundations and stuff. So if you have any foundations, like what's your favourite, please do let me know and link it below because I'm now kind of like obsessing over the fact that I don't have to wear matte foundations and it's amazing. So I am also going to be doing a video on my skincare journey. So my skin isn't perfect and I know that I still have pigmentation and scarring and a few breakouts, but it's incredible the journey it's brought me on in terms of my confidence. So I really, I've had quite a few questions on my comments and stuff on my videos asking about it. So I am going to film a whole video dedicated to like what I had done, the process, how long it's taken and what my skin looks like now. So there'll be naked faceness and um, a lot of talking about that. So I'm really glad that because of that, it means that I can film tutorials like this where I don't feel like my skin looks awful. So I really do hope you enjoyed it guys. And if there's any other videos you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.